Good morning everyone. It is a Sunday morning. We've had a pretty wild past few days and this morning we have basically no charge in our computers, our cameras, uh, my phone is basically dead. So we're trying to find a coffee shop where we can get some Wi-Fi and charge some stuff up while also being time conscious because we have a lot of stuff planned for today. Um, and the, because the days are so short, we're just trying to figure out how to balance it all. <clears throat> I got up for sunrise. It wasn't like the best sunrise and I was rushing around. So it wasn't the best experience. Definitely not the experience I wanted. So uh, we're going to find a Starbucks, get some Wi-Fi, and then figure out a plan for the rest of the day. Yeah. Found a Starbucks. <clears throat> Seems like it's pretty downtown here in Dunedin. We're going to here do some work, get some Wi-Fi. And then figure out our plan. So we've just been trying all morning to upload some videos to YouTube. We were at a Starbucks for a while and it just didn't work to eat. The Wi-Fi was really slow, saying like three hours. And so then we came over to like a McDonald's and still tried there and we just couldn't get it to work. So instead of kind of wasting the entire morning and day with the days being so short, we decided to just kind of scrap that and just keep moving, um, and keep going with our ag agenda and our itinerary. We're just gonna try to find some Wi-Fi where we can and see if we can upload them. Keep on editing so we have the videos and the assets and then just go from there. So we're gonna try to hit up a grocery store, uh, get some more groceries before we head down south towards like Catlins and Nugget Point and stuff like that. All right, so we've been on the way down to Nugget Point and this place is so remote, no cell service, like no radio. Um, and we're just basically on the complete like Southwest tip of New Zealand, the Southern Island of New Zealand. And we came up to this place called Mali New Bay. And basically like right on the side of the water, there's like all these teepees down here for some reason built along the beach. And there's like all these really cool rock formations. And according to like the science they had here, I guess there used to be like a school around here and that the kids would have to walk five miles to and they eventually got rid of the school because they were afraid that it was going to blow away which is just nuts to think about they said there's about 10 students um, who attended the school but they eventually had to tear it down so cool to see on the map just how far we are just really blown away to see the diversity of the terrain here and it's just like an hour south of Dunedin where it seemed like it was such a popping city now it feels like we're like in the middle of nowhere Point Lighthouse car park, the parking lot, and it's currently completely socked in um, and kind of pissing rain on us. So we decided to have a little lunch here. You know, we were hoping we we're gonna get a sunset, but by the looks of it, doesn't really look like it. But nothing we can do about that. So currently just heated up some soup, something quick and easy, um, and we're gonna go out and see the lighthouse. Pretty excited for it. Driving out here was pretty insane. So. Stoked to see kind of history of this place and what it has to show. And by the way, this tastes like super dusty slash musty. I don't know if it's because of the pot or the spoon or probably a little bit of both, but <laughs> whatever. Should we go to the cliff top or the lighthouse or both? So we're currently out here at Nugget Point. You can see the weather is definitely not ideal, but there's a saying that says there's no such thing as bad weather only not good clothing or something like that. So we just had to bundle up a little bit, put on some weatherproofs and um, yeah, we're perfect. There's not a lot of wind, just kind of, just a wet one out here, but we can't let that stop us explore and see this sort of stuff because we were just so far out there and we drove a long way to come out here. So we're gonna go check out some of the viewpoints like that. It's kind of opens up to the water. We're literally right on the coast. Check out this viewpoint. Wow. That is crazy. Look at those down there. Look at the sheer size of this cliff. And those 
pointed rocks down there. It's just nuts. I think Antarctica may be somewhere over there. Or Argentina. I don't even know. Look at that. It's just nuts. <laughs> up the final stretch of the lighthouse right now. I took my mic off just because it's not really waterproof like this camera is or, or weatherproof should I say. So this is just incredible. Like look at the size of this cliff right here. Just that sheer drop. It's just, this is just mind blowing really is. Even with kind of the poor weather, it adds such a cool element and really shows what it's like out here and why there is a lighthouse and um, just really shows the power of raw nature. And it's just, uh, it feels so organic. It feels so natural, because it is. Their highs in this point just been blended into nothing because of so, like the overcast and the fog. It's, it really is remarkable. And uh, there's the lighthouse. <laughs> why they call it Mega Point. Look at these rock formations in the water. It's just unbelievable. Like I said, the weather right now just makes it so unique um, and just so much cooler. Super glad we came out to experience this stuff. This just shows why they have lighthouses. Like if you're in a ship back in the day and it's weather like this, you would have no idea these huge nuggets um, or rocks are basically there. It's just crazy to think about the science that goes behind uh, making these rocks and how the water has changed over the years and just pounded and battered these rocks year after year after year. If you're ever here in New Zealand, I definitely recommend making a stop for the Nugget Point Lighthouse. It's an easy hike um, and it's just super cool to see stuff like this. That's a crazy drive home and just not even home just to the next town we're in a place called Awaka it's apparently the largest town here in the southern uh, part of the islands here and it just got dark super quick can barely see and it's still raining so we're gonna go into a bar and see um, what what's going on <laughs> so we came to this incredible place called lumberjack and my sister said the best. It felt like we just came to like my grandma's house. They took us in right away, and we're just so friendly and kind. We got a cheeky little beer and a nice salad, and we're just kind of doing some work here after like a super long day. Um, we're cold, damp, so it just feels so good to come in here. And like I said, the people were just so super friendly. So this place is called Lumberjack in Owaka, I think, New Zealand. It's a like really small town, but this place is just awesome. So I'm probably gonna end the night here because we have another busy day ahead of us. I feel like at the end of each video, I keep saying how busy the next day is gonna be, and that just shows how much we're trying to pack in and what we're doing at night, like in the van when the sun goes down, in terms of editing and just figuring out our next move. So um, overall, just another insane day. So grateful to explore Nugget Point. Even though the weather wasn't necessarily ideal, I still think it was so cool to see like the raw power and beauty of nature in a scene like that. So thank you guys again so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments or anything like that, please leave them below and I will respond to every single one of them. And I really, really appreciate you for watching and, and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.